Order of the Arrow is Scouting's National Honor Society. It was founded at a Boy Scout summer camp to serve a purpose, to cause the Scout oath and law to spring into action as a living part of each Scout. You are gathered now to elect Scouts as candidates for membership in the Order of the Arrow. This is the first step in becoming an Arrowman, as our members are often called. But before you begin your unit election, I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you about the OA. The Order of the Arrow was founded here in 1915 at Treasure Island, the scout camp of the Philadelphia Area Council. It is located on a 50-acre wooded island on the Delaware River between the shores of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Historical records show it to be an early camp of the Delaware Indians. In May 1915, a young man named E. Erner Goodman was selected to serve as camp director of Treasure Island for the summer. He had been a scoutmaster in Philadelphia and had considerable experience in scouting and camping. Goodman was only 24 years old, but he would soon become the founder of the Order of the Arrow. His assistant camp director that year was Carol A. Edson. Both men took their appointments at Treasure Island very seriously and spent considerable time doing reading and research to better prepare themselves for their responsibilities. In the course of his reading, Goodman learned of camp organizations whose purpose was to maintain ideals and traditions from season to season. Goodman and Edson agreed they wanted to establish a similar organization for their camp. They wanted some distinct way of recognizing those scouts who best exemplify the scout oath and law in their everyday lives. Since the Delaware Valley is rich in Indian tradition and the island had been used as an early Native American campground, it seemed only natural to base this order, this honor society, on the legends and traditions of the Delaware Indian. Soon after camp opened at Treasure Island in 1915, Goodman and Edson decided to elect members for their new organization from the troops at camp. They gave the group a name taken from the language of the Delaware Indian, which means Brotherhood of Cheerful Service. In the beginning, a unique principle was established, that members would be elected by non-members and members alike. That founding principle lasts to this day. July 16, 1915, dawned bright and clear on Treasure Island. In the air, there was a feeling of expectancy, almost mystery. Then, as darkness fell, the campers were lined up and led single file to a natural amphitheater in a remote part of camp. Here, where the first ceremony was performed. In that first year, 25 members were inducted into the Brotherhood, many of whom wore black sashes with white arrows while the first ceremonialists wore black robes. Soon, news of this organization spread to camps, and lodges were established in several nearby states and then across the nation. Now, decades later, over a million members of the Boy Scouts of America have been inducted into the Order of the Arrow. The Order boasts over 175,000 active airmen. If you've been a scout very long, you've probably heard about the Order of the Arrow. Your unit may even have an appointed OA representative, who is an official junior leadership position. Amongst other things, the order promotes scout camping and upholds camping traditions and spirits. To be a good camper, you must not only have mastered scout skills, but must also be true to the ideals of scouting. The only way that a scout can become a member of the Order of the Arrow is to be approved by a scoutmaster or coach and be elected by the members of his unit under the age of 21. That's you guys. To be eligible, a scout must be a registered member of the Boy Scouts of America, be at least a first class scout, and have 15 days and nights of Boy Scout camping within the last two years, which must include one, but no more than one, long-term camp consisting of six consecutive days and five nights, like a summer camp. Oh, under both, under both, make sure you're under both. Yeah. After being elected, one, the scout must undergo the ordeal experience, which is a series of challenges of his dedication to the high ideals of scouting and the OA. If the scout is faithful in meeting these challenges, he takes a solemn pledge of service and is admitted into his local lodge as an ordeal member of the Order of the Arrow. This universal arrow ribbon and distinctive sash signify membership in the Order of the Arrow. The sash is worn only at OA events, special scouting functions, or when representing the OA. Lodges are also permitted to design and issue their own unique pocket flap. These insignia are symbols of service. Membership in the Order of the Arrow is permanent. 
provided that a scout or scouter remains actively registered in both scouting and the lodge. Membership can be transferred if the arrowman moves to another council. Your lodge has its own activities and projects, but the OA program does not replace the scout's primary responsibility to his own troop or team. In fact, the arrowman is expected to give generous service to his unit for the honor it has extended him. Your lodge has many members from troops or teams throughout your council. There are over 300 Order of the Arrow lodges and scout councils throughout the country, some with less than 100 members in rural areas to several thousand members in urban areas. Besides its tradition of service to local units and to the council camping program, the Order of the Arrow also offers exciting leadership and program opportunities that are unique in scouting. Tonight, you're going to continue our tradition by electing scouts from your troop as candidates for membership in Order of the Arrow. All those members of the troop that are active and under the age of 21 are eligible to vote. Don't vote for a scout just because he is your friend or just because he is older than the rest. What really counts is his loyalty to the scout oath and law. You're expected to think for yourself. There is no campaigning or discussion permitted, and the election is by secret ballot. If you have any questions, you may ask your scoutmaster or the election team prior to voting. This important decision about your fellow scouts is totally up to you. Ask yourself a few questions about those who have been nominated. Who among this group is a friend to all? Who is helpful when others need a hand? Who is cheerful when he has tiresome jobs to do? Who would you wish to go camping with? Who regularly attends meetings of the troop? Is it campouts and other service projects? Who among them sets the example by living the scout oath and law in his everyday lives? And finally, who can you depend on? You may vote for any or all of the eligible scouts who you believe are worthy of membership in the Order of the Arrow. If you feel no one is worthy, turn in a blank ballot. If you are new to the unit and do not know the candidates well enough to vote wisely, you do not have to turn in a ballot at all, and this will not affect the final result. Do not vote for anyone other than those scouts who have been declared eligible by the scoutmaster or coach. When you've completed your ballot, fold it once and give it to a member of the election team. You have a very important decision to make. Becoming a member of the Order of the Arrow is one of the highest honors that a scout can receive. The ideals of brotherhood, cheerfulness, and service are the foundation on which our order is based. The OA is a thing of the outdoors, born on this island wilderness. From life outdoors comes self-reliance, and from the scout oath and law comes personal integrity and character. Among the greatest challenges of the Order of the Arrow is the strengthening of scouting as a positive outdoor experience, and the development of leadership skills that scouts like you and I can rely on for the rest of our lives. It is because of this commitment to leadership and service that the Order of the Arrow has become Scouting's National Honor Society. And now, your unit election teams We'll tell you more about your lodge and conduct your unit election.